Hamas will understand that by attacking us, they've made a mistake of historic proportions. We will exact a price that will be remembered by them and Israel's other enemies for decades to come. אנחנו עכשיו מגלגלים בעצם את נכבת עזה, אם תרצה, נכבת עזה. הזכות שלי, של אשתי, של הילדים שלי, להסתובב בכבישי יהודה ושומרון, יותר חשוב מזכות התנועה של הערבים. The Israeli government has made it clear what it intends to do in the Gaza Strip. They've been very open about saying that they want to flatten the Gaza Strip. They've already indicated that it's going to be smaller in size. We've also heard members of Knesset advocate that Palestinians be sent elsewhere. The reason that people are not questioning what the Israeli government is doing is because it's a combination of dehumanization and Islamophobia. The Israeli government has spent decades and energy and money trying to dehumanize Palestinians and trying to throw all sorts of allegations against Palestinians in the hope that they stick. It's also a question of Islamophobia. Yeah, well, of course, all Muslims do this. That seems to somehow work. And this is the part that is so not only disheartening, but it's dangerous. When you go down the path of simply accepting state propaganda, it leads to what we're seeing now, which is ethnic cleansing. And genocide. In the early days of the Israeli attack on the Gaza Strip, an Israeli reporter came up with a claim that there were 40 beheaded babies. But even though it's now clear that there weren't any babies that were beheaded, President Biden persists in making the same claim. We're even cutting babies' heads off to burning, burning women and children alive. President Biden is standing in lockstep with Israel, a country that is effectively bombing a refugee camp. The number of bombs that Israel has dropped on the Gaza Strip, 6,000 a week, is the equivalent of carpet bombing an entire area. This is not the carpet bombing, this is a different thing. We're going through these tunnels, we're going in the hospital. The allegations that Israel has been putting forward are allegations that they made in 2008 and 2009. They made them again in 2012. They made them again in 2014. They make these same allegations over and over again. And yet what we've seen is that doctors, international doctors, Palestinian doctors have come forward and said, there's absolutely nothing under a Shifa. We've also seen Human Rights Watch and other human rights organizations come forward and say the same. So what we've seen is that President Biden has simply been parroting the Israeli talking points, including parroting the talking point about not wanting to see a ceasefire. What are the chances of the Gaza ceasefire? None. No possibility. The ceasefire would be a surrender to Hamas. It would be a victory for Hamas. If Hamas agrees to release the hostages, then there would be a pause. Well, there'd be a ceasefire for that purpose. Uh, and we're waiting for that to happen. It hasn't happened so far. What Netanyahu is saying is actually incorrect. In the early days of the attack on the Gaza Strip, it was Hamas who came forward and said that they would release the hostages. But instead, Netanyahu said, no, we're going to continue to bomb the Gaza Strip. And that's why we're at where we're at right now. Netanyahu is not at all interested in returning hostages because there have been numerous proposals on the table. And the only reason that there is now talk of returning hostages on the Israeli side is because these families have been coming forward and pushing the Netanyahu government to raise the issue. So we've seen time and again that what the Israelis want to do is they just want to bomb Gaza. They don't care about the Israelis who are in Gaza right now. All they care about is flattening Gaza.